All right, guys, welcome back to Andy Plays DGV. We're here for week four of the Royal Cup. Round one is Highlanders Ridge. Let's jump in. Let's hope for some calm winds. That's what I'm hoping for. Hole one, we start with the honor. And I'm just going to put the bottom pointer down at the water here. And in this wind, basically a straight pullback. And the stability will bring it round. Whoa! Went a bit further than I was intending. But we're not out of bounds. Aim up a bit. And we're in for the birdie. And off to hole two. The, the gap. We've got to split the gap here. In this wind. Take the middle pointer just to the right side of the gap here. And hopefully come and hit this back wall here. And not go in the water. Oh, we didn't. Or I didn't count us as being in the water anyway. Got away with one there. And onto hole three. For this hole, I like to take the water skip disc, even though I'm not planning on skipping it off the water. And put the middle pointer just at the edge of the shore there. And in this calm wind, just a little bit of hyzer. And hopefully we'll come back, skip up. And nice. Always like to be by this rock, but not behind the rock. And then for this, aim up a little bit. Maybe that. Uh, wrong line, but the log there stops us. For a nice easy tap in. Okay. Off to hole four. The bridge hole. Oh, calm wind. Oh, do I go for the bridge? Ooh. So normally in calm winds, I take the light glide paradigm, put the pointer there, and half a disc of hyzer. It normally gets me onto the bridge. But I think I'm going to play it safe and play down this fairway here with the light glide sapphire. Like that. And aim to be just behind this wall over here, which we are. Um, this is, for me, this is just a safer play. Uh, if you get up onto the bridge, then you can... Uh, you can often have a putt across, but it's quite, or you can have a throw in, um, but you know, it's normally 35 plus meters. And if you miss the basket and go into this little stream over here, it can be uh, bad times indeed. So I'm gonna take the roll sapphire, aim off to the right a little bit, and Hopefully don't go where I was just talking about. No, phew. <laughs> we ended up next to the basket and we got a tap-in. Nice. Always like tap-ins. Off to hole five. Eagle opportunity on this hole, especially in this wind. Or lack of wind. So I'm going to take my flippy skippy disc, my uh, paradigm. And then half a disc of hyzer. And this should just go straight up the fairway. Nice big skip to the corner here. They can see the basket, it's quite a long throw in. I think it's about seven meters this distance. So I'm just gonna put somewhere like that. Come back around that way. And we're short, but that's okay. I'd rather be short than long. Don't wanna go flying off the back of there. And we get birdie. Although I expect some people to be getting, uh, to be getting eagles in that wind. Uh, for this hole, I like to throw forehand the, and take the honor again and kind of point it down at this corner and the stability of the disc, bring it around. Oh, that was a little bit close for cool there. And leaves us with a 50 meter, although I'm going to throw this in just to make sure 50 meters is kind of on the edge of a putt and it's a little bit uphill probably wouldn't have made that so just to be sure throw it in okay nice calm wind or calmish wind for this hole 
I like to take this top chevron, point it at the basket. This window, I'm going to add a bit of Anheuser. And it should come across to this bottom corner. And not roll out bounds. Good, good. And actually, that, that bounce kind of up the hill a little bit has made this putt a little bit easier. And we get in for birdie. Very high chance of blowing up on that hole in a high wind, so glad that didn't happen. And we have had quite favorable winds here. So for this hole, I like to put my middle chevron just on top of this rock, hit my flippy skippy disc, half a disc of hyzer, and it should split the two ruins. Oh, we're just gonna catch the edge of that one there, but that's okay. A nice little bounce forward as well. And I think I just really want to lay up here. Um, oh no, once again going off the back of the green, although we didn't go that far, can, can cause problems. Um, I'm going to try and throw this in. Please, please don't hit the fence. Oh, it did. Stop. Uh-oh. Back behind the fence again, but we've got putt this time. Come on. Okay, so we take power on that hole. Off to hole nine. And this hole causes me so much problems. Um, I'm going to take the accurate uh, roll sapphire. Give it a good bit of hyzer, but take some power off, especially in this wind, in the tailwind. And we're not going to make it round the corner. Oh, not a great position. Let's see. Once again, this is going to be a tricky putt. Scared of hitting that rock in front of me. I'm going to lift it, something like that. Oh, missed. But we can follow it up and at least save the par and avoid a big score. So two pars at the end there, but otherwise a pretty nice round. But no bo bogeys, that's the key. So, thanks for watching this video of Highlanders Ridge in the Royal Cup. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.